So today I'm gonna to talk about my daily milking routine. And this is what I do in the morning and sometimes I have to do this in the evenings. And the reason, only thing that's really different about it is the fact that in the mornings it's cold right now. So I'm having to set up a heater to warm the barn up when we, when we first start milking. So first thing I do is when I come into the barn, I come over here and I close this door right here. And I'll show you why I close this door here in a minute now. My buddy Chester, Chester, come on, you need to get in the barn. He needs to be inside here. And this is all part of the routine that we do every day. So when I first get in here into the barn, the very first thing I do is I come over here to my little tie shop. And what I do is I grab this heater and I walk this heater right over here to this goat stanchion. And when I walk this over here to the goat stanchion, I hook it up and I'll point it that way toward the milking stanchion. That way it helps warm up that end of the barn just a little bit. It makes me a little bit more comfortable while I'm doing the milking. It makes the cow feel a little bit more comfortable while she's getting milked and it's worked out really, really well. So after I set this up, I come back over here and I grab my supplies to do all the milking with. So when I come in here, first thing I do is I grab three of these wipes right here. And I found that three works really well for me. And then after I have that, I'll hold them in my hand. I'll come over here and we give Faith grain while we're milking her. So I come right over here. I've got the grain in this little can separated. And right now I'm giving her almost two full scoops a day or two full scoops every time I milk her. Put this back. And then this part's really important. And this is how I've got Faith to absolutely love me. Is in here, I keep her treats. And three is the magic number to keep Faith happy. So I take the treats, take my bucket of feed, my wipes, and I'll walk over to the stanchion. And I always pour the feed in the exact same spot. Right there in the center. And then I take her treats and I always put them right here in my pocket and she knows that they're there and you'll see that soon. So I walk this bucket back over here, place it, and I make sure I close this door. So if you notice, every door that I use, I close it behind me after I open it. And you'll see the reason why here very shortly. So I always set these wipes right here in the stanchion it keeps them clean and out of the way. And then I come over here and I have this betadine and I place it right up there. So now the last thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the milk machine is all hooked up correctly. So now I've got all my milking supplies over here and I've worked really hard to keep this a closed system to keep any dirt or any particles out of it. So what I'll do is I'll bring this right over here. I'll set this gallon jug up on top here simply connect all the hoses and I've got this hose right here the actual milker now got little filters here for the milk just like that right in the system itself Got the vacuum line right here now this is something I found out and this was not planned when I built this smoke extension I found that if I take these hoses and I go over this board right here and then around and over the top of that board and just let them hang like that they're completely out of the way of faith when she comes in and it's really easy once she gets in here to connect these up to her. And before I <clears throat> bring her in here, I make sure the machine turns on and we're good to go. So now I've got to go get Faith. So you're gonna watch how I do that real quick. All right, so now that I'm about to go get Faith, I've got her lead and now I've got to get Chester. Chester, come here, buddy, come on. Let's go to your safe place. He's so awesome. He listens all the time and he's so used to this. Watch this. This is awesome. Go to your safe place, buddy. Chester, 
Now you don't listen because we're on the phone. Chester, go to your safe place. Come on. Go to your safe place. Good boy. All right. And he always looks up at me like, why'd you just lock me up? All right, dude. Come on. So he's good in there. He's safe. He loves it. He just, isn't that a face? That, like, look at all the love right there. He loves us. All right, so now I come out here and I just put these gates in because when we had first started, Lisa put out a little video of the calf chasing Faith. And the problem was the calf was chasing Faith and then the calf was running out into our yard. Now our whole yard is fenced in, which isn't a big deal, but that little calf is fast. So what I do is I put these gates in here so it's almost like a little chute coming into the stanchion. So what I do is I pull this gate over here like this, right along the side of the barn, and it might be hard to see with that sun right there. But I connect it up like that. So now, so after I connect that gate up right there, now it's like I have a little chute going right to the stanchion. So now I'm gonna go get Faith. But first thing you have to do with Faith is you have to give her one of these to let her know that everything's all good and she's spoiled. So I give her one of these treats before I bring her over to the stanchion every single time. And she, she loves it. She's like, look at her, she's ready. She's ready for this. All right, Faith, you ready to get milk? All right, here you go. There you go. All right, come on. Somebody's got some energy today. All right, there we go. Now, she knows where the food is, so she's gonna lead me. Well, she thinks she is, I got this. Come on, Faith. So she walks right in, I don't have to pull her anymore. I almost feel like I don't need to use this lead. But I tie it off right there. I think we'll put a boat cleat right here to make it a little bit easier so I can just a little bit quicker. Now she starts eating her grain. I'll close her head into the head gate. And then I come over here and I get this thing called a cow can't kick. And I place it over her backside like this. And I slide it down real slow and I just rest it right there. And I'll crank this on her. And by me doing this, it keeps her so her leg she can't kick me when I'm down there milking her. Now I'll come over here. I'll grab one of these wipes. I'll hit the betadine right there on her teats. Now, in the hospital setting, you want to let that stuff sit on there for a couple minutes. And that's how it actually works. That's how the betadine works. I let it sit on there for about a minute and then I wipe it off with one of these wipes. And if you look at her, her udder is really, really clean. So I don't need to take a hose and I don't need to spray it off. So she's clean. But now there's been times when she's come in here where she is nice and dirty under there. So I've taken a hose and actually sprayed her off and cleaned her really good. And then I'll wipe her down with these wipes and I still use the, the betadine on her. So now that I've got it on there, I'll take this wipe and I'll pull the betadine off. And see, I get express a little bit of milk every time I do it. And then, get it all the way around. I'll take another wipe up here. All right, now, Set, discard that stuff to the side and I always I put this away to make sure I don't step on it so I bring it right over here and I hang it up just so it's out of the way and then I walk around over here behind Faith I come over here to this side and right here remember how I hung this milker up just like that all I gotta do is bring it down I turn it on Instruction. And come right up to her.
Now it's coming right over here to this gallon jug. And while it's coming into this jug, it's getting filtered. Now what's really cool about this is it's a completely closed system. That milk is basically coming right out of her and going right into this jar. And then I'll take this gallon jar when it gets full and I'll pour it directly into a clean half gallon jar. And then I put those into our refrigerator. got about a gallon and a half off of her or maybe honestly maybe just a gallon today because that little cow has been drinking and I milked a little bit late this morning and it's a little bit early today so we're trying to get back on a routine for the week because we had a weekend so uh, we got our milking schedule got shifted just a little bit so I expected not to have a lot of milk this evening but tomorrow morning I should have a really good morning I'm guessing probably about two gallons tomorrow morning So now that I'm all done milking her, I hit her one more time with these wipes before I send her back out to the pasture. So I come down here and I clean her off really good with them. She's looking real good. I'll take the cow can't kick off her. She knows, I know. You did good, you did good. All right, so then just unwrap this like this. I reach in my pocket and I get one of her treats and she knows that she gets this. Good job, good job. I open her head gate up. I'm like, all right, Faith, let's go see her baby. that I got one more treat for her. So I give her a last treat and I say, I always tell her, thank you so much for your milk. And I give her a big hug and we stand here for a minute. She just kind of hangs. I rub her back a little bit, rub her neck. She likes it and then I walk her back over here to see her baby. All right, come on, Faith. That's it. That's how we milk faith every day. <laughs>